Hello everyone, welcome back to Eastward. Uh, last time we left off, we got some glazy berries for the like mob boss character and we gave them away in an obvious trick. Um, and we're probably going to have to find a different way around that. So I'm not good with intro, so let's just get right into it. Yes, save. Right then. Right then. Uh, I forget what my objective is. King crabs. Okay. So, where do I need to go for this? Oh, it's just right here. Okay. Makes my life a lot easier. Afraid today's stock already been Today's stock's already been bought up by a greedy landlubber. But I've heard tell the dragon market's in its final stages of prep. Perhaps you'll find a bit of luck there. So where was that? Oh, down that way. Okay. Aha! You found me again! Seems your nose is as good as mine. You must be quite the adventurers. Here, take this. What'd I get? Heart orb. Cool. Let this be a token of our friendship. Whenever you find something, you tell old bud. Secrets are only secrets when people know them. Cool. The dragon market officially opens tomorrow. Just where has that idiot Eblis run off to? I don't know, you tell me. Everything's just about ready. You guys are too early. Come back tomorrow for the freshest fruit you ever set your eyes on. So late and he still ain't come back yet. Guy really knows how to make a person worry. You did hear this from me, man. But I've heard tell there's something unbelievable hidden deep in the dam. Okay. I don't care if you got a young girly with you. A big man like you shouldn't be barging into a lady's home. Isn't it a bit late to be barging into people's homes? I don't know, you tell me. <coughs> Aside, do the near do wells care to well. I know not what coarse tricks they conspire. The people around here are quite poor. So poor, in fact, that they don't even have anything for me to keep. So you don't have to worry about your memories being mixed up with anything weird. It's weird that the save points are fridges. Or like refrigerators. Um, what is my inventory like? I need to cook some stuff. I need to get some more meat. make fruit salad? Really? Cold noodles. Aww. I don't even see the animation. I need to, um, I need to get more spices. Where? Oh, I didn't even notice this here. 
So, we meet again. The heavy curtain of steam. The odious smell of sludge. This foul waterway hasn't changed a bit. To this day, it remains New Damn City's most desolate, most dangerous haunt. And yet, it was once the playground of a small child. You see, this child loves studying creepy crawlies. This, pe this peculiar hobby of his earned him a reputation as a bit of an oddball. Names, disparaging looks, the occasional hand to the nose. He'd gotten it all. But down here, the darkness welcomed him, and the spiders accepted him as their friend. He decided he would live here, emerging less, <laughs> less and less often out in the world above. The people began to forget him. <coughs> What happened to him? Well, they say he himself turned into a spider, but I can't be sure myself. After all, I don't speak spider. Cool. Okay, so where is this treasure at? It's over there. There we go. 150 salt. Now I have over a thousand salt. It's over 1,000! Right in there. Which I can open up my, which I can open up my spice stand here. Alrighty then. Oh, here's another one. So we meet again. We just talked like 60 seconds ago. See that dragon gate over there? Yeah, the ones that are black. The ones that are... The one that people are blocking. Can't speak. I've got a story about it. You see, there was once a story going around among the kids of the city. The gate was made from the jaws of a river dragon, they said. And if you passed through the gate on the s night of a full moon, you'd be whisked away to the mighty dragon palace. One especially brave boy decided he was going to try it. Only no one ever saw him again. That year saw the most rain the city had seen in a long time. The wheat harvest was particularly bountiful. Since then, whenever a bad season rolls around, people joke that they should send another child to the Dragon Palace. I gotta say, I never thought anyone stick around for my stories. You're a pretty okay guy. If you got time, pop by the cemetery downtown. Right then. Where's the cemetery though? I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna go look for the cemetery if I can. <coughs> I would have to. Ass you there! It's dangerous to be leaving the city at night. Gotta wait till the sun come up. Okay. So, where would the cemetery be then? I don't know. I would assume it's like outside. Because this is Midtown. Oh, the cemetery's up there. Probably. Unless that's. No, that's the park, isn't it? No. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Crystal Lake sure is quiet at night. Who are you? Did I talk to you? Everything is fine. Yes. Sure, you're sure you two buffoons can, competence can handle it? You can stake your whole life on us, my man. We're only the strongest, smartest, studliest gents this side of the dam. Mr. Chevis, sir. We'll, uh, have all them king crabs to you tomorrow, first thing. Scout's honor. Not sure what kind of scout you are or how this helps any, but you know why not. Poor K-Paws, am I right? I'll hire you for the job. 
score, man. Come on, bro. Let's go celebrate. Was thinking the same thing, bro. And I got the perfect idea, too. Ho, ho, ho. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? They just phase right through that guy. If it's crab you have, you folks are after. You come to La Bonne Personnel. Stop by the King Crab tomorrow. And you'll be able to partake in New Dev City's most exciting crab experience. John, did you hear that? Let's go tell Alva. We're gonna win for sure tomorrow. Okay. Uh-oh. Why is this thing on? And why is it blinking at me? I forget where this is. What on earth? What on earth indeed? You! How could- What is- A bit slow on the uptake, are we? Isn't there something you want to say to me? For instance, what is going on here? Clearly, you really are nothing more than a child. Th that's not true. I am the Harvester, the Reaper of Humanity. Is that so? And yet, you couldn't even figure out how to turn this on. That's... well... No matter. I'll give you a new toy to play with. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You don't mean... I don't know who that character is. It's very strange. It's like a mirror image. Let's go, John! We need to get King Krabs for the crab pot and take Lee down! Right. Where is everybody? I don't know. Full of things he thought would last forever, but are gone within an hour of dinner. Yes, yeah, save. Right then. I don't really need to talk to everyone right now. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, hello? We're here to buy some... I know what you be looking for, you scurvy dogs. Tis what everyone's waiting for. A taste of the king. But me first mate, Chevis. He left for the port and there's been nary a sign of him since. John, let's go to the dragon market and take a look. Maybe something happened to him. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to the graveyard. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, no. I forgot that there was another thing. She's gonna stop me, right? Oh, okay. Where is the cemetery? I kind of want to look it up just to make sure I'm not gonna miss it. If it isn't Sam and John. Oh, William, are you feeling better now? Th that, um, stupendously so. It notes all things to the magnanimous act of munificence. Why, my body feels so light, it's as though I was never ill at all. <clears throat> and how fair is your own health? You haven't succumbed to the same affliction, have you? This jam could clear it right up for you. I had a little bit of those glazy berries left over, you see. So I thought to myself, why not make some jam and sell a jar or two? The saccharine spread used to be all the rage, you know. There might still be a few around partial to its unique zest. Care for a jar or two of yourself? Yes. Um... Let's get a few of them. I want to find the cemetery. I just don't know where it is. Because I don't want to miss anything. 
done! The captain said all the king crabs are at the market. Yeah, I had a feeling I was gonna be stopped. Where is the cemetery? I'm gonna look it up just so I don't accidentally miss it. I can't get to it right now. It's um, uh, it's by the uh, casino apparently. Unfortunate. Earthworm, mouse, and toad of blight. Cloth, ladle, and hair of white. Drop them all in a great big pot. Near to go home without three draughts. Hey, watch your step. These spices ain't cheap. Then again, it is the grand reopening of the market. Care for a free sample? Fireman. Can I buy some more stuff? Back for more of my high class spices. No more freebies though, you hear? Okay. I don't need anything else other than that. Welcome, welcome, my friends. And feast your eyes upon New Damn City's finest fish, Tails. Looking at the dragon market all hustling and bustling. I feel kind of proud, you know? Like, I was part of this. I made it happen. Hey, go toot your own horn somewhere else. You're blocking my customers. Fresh fruit. We pick them, you buy them. Here you go, a free sample to celebrate the reopening of the market. Pineapple. Actually, how many apples do I have left? None. Come one, come all, and feast your eyes upon New Damn City's finest fish heads. Bizarre. Do they replenish? Yes, yes they do. Huh. A rare respite from work, the newly reopened Dragon Market. Truly a recipe for self-indulgence. Snacks, snacks, pack of snacks, get yourself a snack pack today. Mm. What ho, could I be seeing things? The Dragon Market is actually opening again. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, pauvre, pauvre de moi. Chavis, the captain's looking for you. Little Sammy, you great beautiful barber papa. You gotta hear me out. The captain sent me to pick up the shipment of crab. And I came straight here like a flight or a leviton. I did. I don't know why he's Italian, but I don't care. Only what do you know, this damn ship was locked up tight as a port de derriere. I'm butchering these words. And the marriage stupid is? Lone like poop. The damn fools left me looking like a fool. Bippity bobbity. What's a marine stupid is? I'll tell you what they are, and I'll tell it to you good. The two damn phrases is what they are. From Brotherhood Construction. They told me they'd help me nab the best crabs, the cream de la cream. And now what? If Chavis doesn't bring home the bacon, the bacon's gonna bring home Chavis. I I can. Hello again, my friends. You come at just the right time. Come, come, take a look at what I found. This here is a very rare and ancient totem. I would hazard a guess that only those from my village would recognize this for what it truly is. Okay, so what is my objective now? 
Okay. You seek to find the damn fairies? That would be the idiot brethren, Silva and Armstrong. At Lightning Max, no doubt. A bar in the uptown. Drinking away their troubles, as always. Right then. Um, I'm just gonna make sure I have, um, uh, enough stuff for now. Um, I kind of want to buy some more fish. Oh, he's sold out now. Unless they, um, unless they replenish after each interaction like this. No, they're all out. Okay. Okay. Huh? It printed something out. The Dragon Market is open. Stop by for your pick of the freshest foodstuffs New Dam City has to offer. John, the Dragon Market. Let's go check out the Dragon Market. No. Yes, I I was just there. I don't need to go back. Why would I need to go back? Here's the cemetery. Oh, there's like a cat up there. Isn't that the black cat? Well, this is ominous. There was once a girl that loved to tell, t tell tall tales. Dirt poor and an unsightly thing, she lived down in Lowtown. No one liked her, but she could tell some of the best stories. The kind that could really scare the socks off you. When other kids came to listen, they'd ask, voices quivering, how the stories ended, which was always her favorite part. But then people began to attack her stories, like that could really happen. You're just making things up again. And fewer and fewer kids came to listen to her. Even the friends it had taken so long to make began coming up with excuses so they wouldn't have to visit her. So she decided to come up with a real whizbanger. She stayed up all night weaving the scariest, most horrible, most terrifying stories she could possibly think of. They'll never be able to sleep again, she thought to herself. Barely able to contain her excitement, she ran to the thick thicket first thing in the morning. And there she waited and waited and waited. She waited until the sun set behind the mountain, but still no one came. Heartbroken, she began telling her story to the thicket. Everything grew silent around her. Birds perched on the nearby branches. Cats knelt by her feet. Everyone and everything listening to her story. She was so happy, happier than she'd ever been in her whole life. And then the mist came. It filled up the thicket, the animals disappearing, the leaves shriveling. It was the miasma, and it consumed all. Well, that was my final story. Thanks for listening. I guess that's it then, huh? We probably won't see each other again. But take this, yeah? what I get? Another heart orb. Farewell, my friends. Alrighty then. Why did it pan down? Oh, there's another thing. Almost got hit by a train. Hmm. Alrighty then. We're closed today, bud, and don't ask me why. If you have to ask anyone, ask those two bozos over there. 
came in moaning about some jackpot nonsense, and have been drinking themselves senseless since last night. Now they're passed out on my floor like a couple of dead oxes. Eh. 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 That's so. So they're those two, are they? Guess I'll take over from Monk today and zap these two chumps into shape. Yeah, ouch! Owee! Ugh, why'd you hit me, bro? It wasn't me, it was Mac! Duh, why'd you zap us, mister? You two forgot something important, did ya? Uh, money? We paid you the monies for the drinks, didn't we? We did, didn't we, bro? The King Crabs! We forgot about the King Crabs! We're done for! Come on, bro! We gotta motor ourselves to the Dragon Market. This phase right through us. That's fine. Duh, did you recognize those twos back there, bro? Anyone who'd be drinking in broad daylight isn't anyone we'd associate with. Those two can't do anything right. Anyways, you guys better hurry to the dragon market yourselves. Demand for those king crabs is about to go through the roof. Thank God. We're so sorry, Travis, old pal. So sorry. You damn fools nearly lost Travis's job. We're so sorry. Super sorry. I don't want your sorries. I want you asses hauling that crab up to the shop. And Lizzie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hi. Sam the man, I knew I could count on you two. The utmost of mercy. But cool up to you, me and me. I'm headed back to the King Crab to make sure those imbeciles don't try anything else. Got time, you stop by yourself, you hear? I got a recompense, enjoyable with your name on it. A place. So now my objective is probably. Yeah, okay. You don't have any more, right? No, you do. Last one. Okay, good enough. For now. What do you sell again? Oh, you don't sell anything. Okay. So let's get to the king crab. Nope. One more up. Little Sammy, wa voila! I have that reward I promised, inside, inside! The captain wants to give you a whole bushel of king crabs! Sup? I knew you'd be back in a jiffy! What say ye? Care to tantalize your tongues with the flesh of the king? I've got the whole bushel full for you, right here! You really give us all these crabs? Without your help, these King Crabs would have been meeting with Davy Jones. Suffocated to death, they would have been. Should be me what's thanking you. Take them. Take them all. Can I buy some? John, we got the King Crabs now. Let's hurry back to the Rocket Mansion. You've already been stewing your big damn crab pot, have you? Be sure that you don't over stew her, you hear? gonna make sure you don't restock it or anything. You do. Okay. Okay, you're out of stock. Okay.
John, hurry! He's gonna be here any minute! John, the dough! Big or small? Oh no, we don't have enough ginger! Oh no! Papa ate my pudding! Really? Crab, 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 crab! The crabs! The crabs are getting away, John! I don't think they're gonna get out the door, though. Leave it to me! Oh, I guess they are gonna get out the door. That's all of them. Time to take the crabs back to John. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. John, I caught all the crabs. Good. I hope you didn't use all the crabs that I just bought. Something smells good in here. Have you guys already started cooking? Lily is totally going down this time. John, Sam. The troop. The troop is done for. You must help us. If tonight's show is an arousing success, we'll, we'll, be forced to leave New Damn City. Don't sweat it. The Rocket Knight Legion is on the job. Rocket Knight Legion? Sweet. Give me one second. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Sounds just like Earthborn. I just started up while walking through the door. Pretty good, don't you think? Don't worry, Jasper. The Rocket Knight Legion is gonna make everything right again. So what is my objective? Hmm. Why is this our job, though? I'm gonna save. So I have to assume it's on that stage, right? Like up in the casino? Like northbound? I have to assume as such. Have you heard that good for nothing troop is finally packing up shop? Good riddance, I never liked them anyway. Besides, now the park can finally return to the way it was before. Oh, is it at the park? Oh, okay. I thought maybe it would have been up at the stage, but apparently not. Okay. Oh, yeah, it was a circus. I'm stupid. Have to go all the way around, huh? No, not this way. Wrong way. This way. You hear that? You good for nothings? I need that money and I need it today. You can't just raise the rent like that. At least give us a bit more time. <laughs> You two bit hack jobs. I could give you 10 years and you never pay back that money. If you don't pay me what you owe me, well, you better just start packing your bags, you hear me? Out! You'll be out! I like how it's like, uh, um, Jasper's like, oh, we'll be kicked out of New Damn City! What are you looking at? Out of my way! No, 
Never fear, my friends. I have returned. And look who I brought. No one cares. It's over already. We're finished. No ifs, ands, or buts. You don't pull off a miracle tonight, and we're out of here. I'm out of here. Better to start thinking about what we'll do after we leave. Go? But you guys can go. Then I'll never be able to eat your ice cream again. Sorry, little bun. It's not like we want to go. I must admit, had we known this would be the conclusion, perhaps we would never have come to this city at all. Quiet, all of you! What kind of performer abandons their own audience? Jasper's got a point. I kind of agree. I mean it. How can we just abandon our audience, huh? But... So what are we waiting for? Let's practice like the Dickens. Then show this city just what the Fantasia train is made of. Let's do it. Their worry isn't unwarranted. Unwarranted. If we open tonight's show in our current state, it will be nothing short of a disastrous disaster. You must help us. There must be something we can do. <coughs> So what is my objective now? Beetle Force, assemble! Earth! Wind! Fire! No, 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 again, from the top! Excuse me, is there any way? Perhaps I could be of help? Huh? Oh, it's just you, Jing. What? Don't tell me you want to join, do you? I'm, uh, not quite sure what that would work. Perhaps if we got her a change of attire. You know, to, uh, exaggerate things a little. A brilliant idea. Yeah, but where are we gonna put something like that? We don't even got money to put food on the table. Ho ho ho! I've got just the ticket. The perfect costume. On the second floor of the coin palace, you'll find some, heh, <laughs> paraphernalia. You two don't think you can go grab it for us, do you? <clears throat> if you're so familiar with this paraphernalia, why not fetch it yourself? I, uh, have my reasons, you know. Besides, we gotta practice, right boys? Didn't you, just, didn't you just go there the other day, though? Maybe he was lo looking for a costume for Jang. No, no, no. The way I remember, he was going to meet some woman. What was her name again? That woman behind the counter? Uh, Lily, was it? That's right. Lily, how did things go with her anyway? Would you two shut up already? Yeah, there's a lot of dialogue. Too much dialogue. Anyways, it's a simple job. You guys should be fine. You'll find the stuff on the second floor of the coin palace. Should be three pieces total. You can't miss them. Just leave it to us. Right then. So yeah, I wonder if, uh, one of the mob bosses is gonna be in here. No, this is, this goes to the stage. I don't need to go here. This mask, it must be part of the costume. Just two pieces left, they gotta be around here somewhere. What a pretty wig. Just one piece left. Is that a whip? It's gotta be this whip. <coughs> Obtain Beetle Queen costume. 
That's it, all the pieces of the costume. Come on, John, let's head back. I wanna go see if I can go into this mob boss room. No entry. Okay, can I, um... Oh, Fast Trial was not allowed here. Probably have to be outside. It would make sense. Yeah, there we go. Oh ho, you folks did it! I knew asking you to do this was the right choice. This, this is what you want me to wear? But it's a bit, um, embarrassing, don't you think? Now you say it's embarrassing? But these kind folks went all the way to the coin palace to get it for you. You were the one who wanted to help. Sorry. Truly, these delicate garments would weep at losing the chance to adorn your former lady. Uh, okay, just uh, give me a, a moment, please. Give me one second. I forgot to unmute, I apologize. I can't thank you enough for retrieving this costume for me. Yes, per some, perhaps some sort of reward is in order. Ho ho ho, no need to worry, it won't be anything too painful. Just leave tonight's performance to me. The men in this city won't know what hit them. Yes, ready your stakes, boys, because tonight the tent shall rise. Wow, who knew Jane was so eloquent? Who is this Jane you speak of? I am the Beetle Queen! Okay, now what is my objective? You know, Jane, uh... Wrong again? Y yes, ma'am, Miss Beetle Lady, ma'am. Wrong again? He did that on purpose. Definitely, definitely on purpose. The battle commences tonight. Um, let's talk with these kids. Oh, Whisker Face sure got his whiskers in a twist this time. Heh, what do you expect? Where cheese goes, rats follow. Only in this case, the cheese is cold hard cash. You got a saying for everything, don't you? Does this mean the troops gonna have to leave? Hard to say. Well, whatever. Let's go play Earthborn. Why do you look so sad? Because he's a clown. Mine is a tale of woe, I'm afraid. The name's Dorcas. And I'm a Lorcus. No one asked you. Aw, oh, poor Malorcus. I'm a clown here in the troop. As if that weren't obvious. I used to have an act called Boxes of Fright. Fright is right. Those creepy dolls you had popping out of the boxes were enough to haunt kids' dreams. You should have seen all the complaints we got from parents. That's why I'm changing it. Yes, I have a new act now. A real showstopper. I call it, The Slight is Right. More like The Slight is Wrong where this guy is concerned. His hands are as slow as molasses. Give it a baby to be able to see through the awkward mess he calls an act. I don't need, I don't need to hear that from you. 
And yet, I know he's right. My hands just aren't nimble enough to pull off the trick. Let me see, maybe I can do something to help. Really? You, uh, watch my act? Oh, joy of joys. Don't be too harsh on him. His pride is brittle as an eggshell. Well, if it's hard boiled. Here it goes. Not too hard at this point, right? Now, watch this. <gasps> wow. Head already a jumbo, is it? But wait, there's more. I'm so lost. I wasn't paying attention. Uh. Lav? Mm, wrong. Ha 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 ha. I did it. I really did it. Maybe I'm not horrible at this. Maybe I was supposed to get it wrong. Oh, thank you, truly. I feel like I'm on top of the world right now. Why, my hands feel positively electric. I could fool anyone. Like, I was joking when I was saying, like, oh, I'm so lost. But it's like I wasn't paying attention to see where the ball actually was. I ever tell you, man, I'm actually the driver here. But lately, it seems more and more like we're gonna get forced out. I'd miss the sweet lightning at the lightning max the most. But hey, man, I guess I'd actually have something to do then. Oh, thank you, truly. Okay. Don't be too harsh on him. Okay. Well, hey there. Care to listen to the ramblings of an old muscle head? I'm this troop's all-star pitcher, you know? Why would a circus troupe need a pitcher? I'm glad you asked. Heh, <laughs> my fastball is one of the most popular acts, you know? Throw it again, Cage. Raging Cage, the star shooter. That's what they called me. Couldn't get enough of my white and red streaks. Then our business and our audience began to wane. I found myself pitching less and less. To the point where I was losing my touch. A rusty pitcher. Could it get much worse? But what could I do? I didn't have anyone to practice with. My fastball is just too, well, fast. John, why don't you give it a try, huh? You could help him. You think you've got what it takes to hit my fastball? No. Well, I'll be. Someone finally willing to go up against my fastball. Then let's get things fired up. Oh, I didn't realize. Dang it. There we go. There we go. Oh, wowee, I caught it. This feeling. This feeling. It's like all that passion, all that pan fried pizzazz. Passed straight into my palm. That's the stuff. That's the feeling I've been missing. The crowds will be shouting my name again tonight. How utterly splendid. I knew you two would pull through. Tonight's carnival is going to be a smashing success. I just know it. However, there is one thing. We still need you to do. Yeah, it's a job of utmost importance. Do I have to hand out fly uh, flyers? An important job? What is it, huh? What is it? Welcome! Welcome! You gotta smile, son! Smile!
Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Ah, it's Mung. Well, if it isn't Her Majesty's little pea, you going to the carnival too? Nah, I have to work. Aren't you responsible? Well, aren't you responsible? Oh, good luck with that. Welcome. And now taking the stage, Kitty, the ferocious jungle cat, and her trainer, trainer, El Tiger. But Tigre, can we go watch now? Can't. Gotta work. Oh, there's Solomon. Well, hello there, Sonny. Here for the circus? Weird kid. And now, the fastest arm this side of the dam. The steel-armed wonder, Raging Cage Olsen. I wanna watch. You gotta work. But it's so boring. Can't I just watch for a bit? Ah, John, a crab pot. Completely forgot, did you? Overcooked. How disappointing. If they had actually been able to recreate that crab pot. Heh, I might have actually been forced to throw in the towel. It seems. Lady Luck is on my side. Ha 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 not gonna know what hit him. He never in a million years expect that John can make his beloved big damn crab pot. Lovely, here comes my migraine. Wait, is that a cigar I smell? Lily's already here. You haven't touched anything, have you? If you sabotaged all of John's hard work... Oh, you've done a far better job at that than I ever could. Hey, you can't just walk out of here. This is the big damn crab pot, your favorite. Yes, yes, and let me just ask you one thing, will you? What's the most vital thing to remember for a successful crab pot? Why, just the right amount of time in the pot, of course. Oh no! I've seen enough. Though I am a bit hungry for some crab now, I'll need to have my chef cook me a replacement. Lee! You have one chance left. Are you even taking this seriously? You've yet to produce even a single dish I can actually eat. If you had time to go play around at the circus, why not put those heads to good use and actually think up something good? All that work for nothing. Next time, next time you're going down. Come on, John, let's head back inside. We could still, uh, eat this, right? If you don't have- <clears throat> If you don't have any taste buds, maybe. But it was only barely overcooked. It can't be that bad. Do you not remember the time you ate those mushrooms? Playing around at the circus? Ha! Who does he think he is, huh? We weren't playing around. Technically, we were, but, uh... Huh? What? What's that smell? Smell? Oh, you mean the crab pot? Is this John's crab pot? How did it turn out so, so... You didn't add something weird to it, did you? Hey, my cooking isn't that bad. 
It's just overcooked. These crabs are a little, um, delicate. It's really easy to overcook them. I guess we'll have to try again tomorrow, then. I wouldn't if I were you. If I know Lee, he's already gorging himself on crab pot right now. And without that spark of pure, unadulterated, childlike surprise, I just don't know if it'll ever have the same effect. But then what are we gonna do? What are you waiting for? Just knock! But, but this is the princess's house. Who is it? But, we're here to see John and Sam. C could we come inside? Of course you may. Is it William and Daniel? Just uh, don't let the smell bully you over. Oh, okay. Alright, it's you guys. Holy wowza, this is the princess's house? It's ginormous! Huh? And everyone from the troop is here, too. Oh, okay. Somebody slapped me with a dead fish. What is that smell? I'm having visions of Jasper's socks. Oh, that's just our crab pot. Our um, slightly overcooked crab pot. I thought the princess's house would be pink. Yeah, it's smelling like cookies and, and fairy dust or fairy dust or something. Quiet! No one wants your pitiful appraisal. The show, how did the show go? It was a booming success. It was? Oh gosh, oh wow. Then that means you guys can stay, right? You don't have to leave. Indeed. Which is just leaves your little problem. A little problem? Yes, Jasper already filled us in. He said the two of you have gotten yourselves embroiled in a little wager with Lee. You folks sure got balls of steel going up against the Lee. Only New Damn City's most curtastic crime lord. A real son of snake, that one. At any rate, it seemed like the perfect time for a troop to step in and save the day. Lily is not really that bad. So, so cute. Lily is not really that bad. You could say the same for her body. Heh. <laughs> what I meant to say was, uh... Gifts. We bought gifts. Gifts to help you wipe that smi smug grin off Lee's face. You mean, all this is for us? Holy cow, this is amazing. Is this snow plane cactus? Wow, I've never seen this in the flesh before. Stupendous, the princess has such a keen intuition. And is this cheese? It looks a little weird. It's cheese from my hometown, but not just any cheese. This is hard rock cheese. And these are called fright shrooms. They're so good, they'll give you a fright. <laughs> What? No good? They look like normal mushrooms. This. This. This is amazing. Now we're gonna win for sure. Quick, John. We gotta get cooking. Why do we have to get cooking now? Of all times. It smells so good. It certainly looks more appetizing than our previous attempts. But, I still can't help but feel that we're missing that yes factor, that ultimate clincher. MSG. I found them, I found them. Huh? It's Jasper. Allow me to introduce the great, the brilliant, William the Merchant. Oh, and his assistant, Daniel. We meet again. You guys know each other? We first met on board Sharon. We also gave them the glazy berries yesterday. That's not suspicious at all. Yeah. D don't worry, we're not trying to, to trick you this time. Let me do the talking, please. After hearing that, our mag... Magnam... Maganimous benefactors have found themselves in a crisis. We thought it only right that we offer a recomp recompense of sorts. In 
the suspicion grows. Let's just hear what they have to say. Have you fine ladies ever heard of Quake Valley? You mean the dump? Yes, yes, it has developed that, uh, alias, as it were. Alias. There's a lot of earthquakes there, so, so people call it Quake v v Valley. And not just any quakes, you see. My intel is correct. Those quakes are caused by a rather rambunctious creature known as the Tembler Fish. Yeah, but that thing's not edible. An astute observation, my dear princess. I see you've done some research of your own. Heh. <laughs> well, mostly thanks to Izzy. But have any of you ever given any thought as to why that fish causes his tremulous trembles? We're still not really sure. Maybe it's got an itch. And, and, and because it doesn't have any hands, it can't scratch it. An excellent hypothesis, Sam. You may be a scientist yet. A flawed conclusion, I'm afraid. No, the reasoning behind this is a bit more gluttonous. Did you know that fish are quite sensitive when it comes to earthquakes? Even the slightest tremor will send them hopping and skipping atop the water's surface. Yeah, but what does that have to do with anything? It has everything to do with everything. But you see, our gormandizing friend uses these quakes to dine on its beside brethren. What a smart fish! Indeed, but what's next is key to this whole affair. The bulk of this fish's diet, you see, consists of a fish so delicate, so delectable, so dreamy, why you'd never want to partake of any other fish again. The Golden Valley Snapper. Yeah, 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 we didn't know all that. That thing's basically primal when it comes to gourmet cuisine. The Golden Valley Snapper smells like the lilies. It tastes as sweet as honey. It, its flesh has a tantalizing texture that d dances in your mouth. And not, and not only is that full of nutrients, too, it's the cream of the crop when it comes to f fish. C C Quake Valley's diamond in the rough. I don't know why you have a stutter. The fish sounds amazing. The only problem is it's very crafty. I'm not gonna bother with the stutter. stutter. You can't catch it like normal fish. Only the Tembler fish has ever been able to catch it. Putting two and two together then, it would seem our task is simple. If we find the Tembler fish, we find our snapper. Wait just a minute here. Who said we'd agree to any of this yet? Of course, whether you choose to set forth on this venture is completely up to you, yet I can't be the only one thinking that your choices are, shall we say, limited. I've got to admit, I've got a pretty fierce hankering for Snapper now. I've always wanted to give that golden fish fiend a try. And, and Quake Valley sounds like a super cool place. Marvelous, marvelous. Then it seems you've already made your decision. Shall we meet, say, tomorrow morning at the big station? I do hope you all have a wonderful night's sleep. Sweet dreams. It's a good thing I've already been there. I know exactly where it is. I just have to walk there. To be continued. Where is Sammy Sam Sam Sam? There. John, you're finally up! We gotta get going pronto! Daniel and William are already waiting for us at the big station! Hopefully when I meet up with them, I don't have to walk all the way there and it just teleports me. That'd be great. I doubt it, but I'm hoping. You know what? We'll save that for next time. Yeah, I'll save that for next time. Um, because I just got through uh, the end of that section. And I, I've been going for about an hour, so that's a good stopping point. So, I was really hoping I would be able to finish the, uh, the mob boss, like, quest um, in this episode. But, I didn't do that, obviously. So, 
I'll save it for next time. But in the meantime, thank you everyone for watching. I'm not good with outros, so I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye